Chapter 12. Give and Take. Let's do one more for practice. Now imagine you have 42 nice red apples and you gave away 27. So that's 42 minus 27. Now how many apples were you left with? So if you look at the ones place, you'll see 2 is smaller than 7. So you cannot take away 7 from 2. Let's look at the tens place over here. Let's do what we did with the necklaces. And let's borrow a 10 from this 4. So the 4 tens now becomes 3. And we add 1 10 to the ones place. 10 plus 2 is 12. Now we can definitely take away 7 from 12. So 12 minus 7 leaves you with 5. So the answer here, in the ones place, you have 5. Let's go back to the tens place. We have 3 minus 2 equals 1. So the answer is 15. So you're left with 15 apples. You guys got that, right? You just need a lot of practice to master this. It might look a little complicated, but it's quite simple. OK, so let's move on now. Let's give you another example. Priya went to a store to buy a pack of sketch pens and a drawing book. Now you guys remember earlier we talked about currency. So now the sketch pen would cost Priya rupees 15. And the drawing book would cost her rupees 28. Now how much does she have to pay the shopkeeper? So let's add up 15 and 28. Let's have a look at the currency here. Now for 15 rupees, in the 10 section over here, which is under rupees 10, I would have 110. And under the 1 rupee section, I would have 5 ones. So that's 15 rupees. For the drawing book, I would come to the 10 section and I would have 2 tens. And if I go under the 1 rupee section, I would have 8 ones. So that's 28 rupees. Let's now add this up. Let's do the ones place first. So if we look here, we have 5 plus 8, which will give us 13. 13 has 110. So let's carry that 110 over here to the 10 section. So that's 1 plus 1 is 2, and 2 plus 2 will give you 4. So Priya has to pay 43 rupees to the shopkeeper. Now the problem here is she only has a 50 rupee note. So how much change would she get back? We need to take away 43 from 50. Let's write that down. If we go to the ones place in 50, it's zero ones. And in the tens place, you have five tens. And for 43, it's four in the tens place and three in the ones place. Let's take away 43 from 50. If you look over here, you can't take away three from zero. So we need to go to the tens column and borrow a 10 and put it in the ones column. So let's scratch that out and make that 4. And we put that 110 here in the ones place. That leaves us with 10 minus 3. And the answer for that is 7. Now, if you look at the tens column, 4 minus 4 will give us 0. So Priya should get back rupees 7. It was fun solving that, wasn't it? She shopped a lot today, and yet she still has money left. Now, all you need is a lot of practice before you start shopping all by yourself. But try it and keep it going. Well, see you next time in the next chapter. Bye-bye.